This film gives me the feeling of Love Jones, that special vibe. What was it about the script and this film that made you want to become a part of it? Just reading the script, you know, I I wish you guys could have read the original script. It, just seeing everything that's in it, it felt like love. It felt like home. You know, I I I grew up in I grew up between Baltimore and DC from doing the wire. You know, my wife is from DC, so I spent majority of my life DC is like my second home so us doing a movie that's kind of based there reading it at first and seeing like it it, it felt like you know the stickiness of mumble sauce on your fingers like it felt like very visceral and tangible like you felt the love of the city and the people I, I couldn't say no to this so being that you have history with the city um, you guys had your screening last night, I believe, for the film. What was that experience like getting to see the audience in audience react to the film? Listen, we could have done that screening anywhere in America with a Black audience. And I promise you, it the feeling would have been similar. The reason why not the same is because, of course, it's home. So being able to be in Baltimore, being able to be around, just the feeling of that city, you know, giving showing the people what we all created in that beautiful city was necessary, but I don't care what nobody says. Seeing a black cinema with a black audience, Different there's, experience. No, there's no experience like it. Right. So as a creative, as we follow the journey of Isaiah and Stevie through this film, there is the balance between being passionate about your work and still finding that work-life balance. You're a husband, you're a father, for you, how do you find that balance? Man, uh, it's a it's a choice. It is a constant choice. I have to I have to constantly make time. I have to constantly figure out the right times to uh, just to kind of be a husband, to be a dad. There's so much that comes with being a creative. A lot of times, especially when you when you're creative at such a young age, it takes up so much of your life. So as soon as something comes in, it, something new comes in and it actually something that means more to you. This is the, my greatest creation in the world and the woman that I created it with. Uh, you start to realize what, what you need and what you don't need, how much time you need to focus on each thing. And again, it's, it's something I'm still working on. You know, it's something I learn every day and you know, with the help of my wife kind of help us guiding this ship the right way, constantly putting our, constantly putting each other first. I think, you know, we'll, we'll get to that beautiful balance one day. Amazing. So you're a musician and music is a key piece to this film along with showcasing the city of DC. How mm. does the music add to this film for you? Oh, it's one of the, it's one of like driving forces low key to me the music itself is kind of its own character it's it's very reminiscent of like and i i remember watching spike lee films and and hearing you know i, I believe it was Ter terence blanchard who would do a lot of his like score a lot of his films and you know hearing the horns and hearing the way that it it feels it evokes certain emotions so in itself, the music is, is its own character. So watching watching this film, man, it takes it to a whole, the, the, the music takes it exactly where it needs to go, to a whole nother level.